I was thinking this morning about Jesus' high priestly prayer, and particularly chapter 16, verse 33, which reads, These things I have spoken to you, so that you may in so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage. I've overcome the world. Another translation puts that as in this world you will have trouble, but fear not, I've overcome the world. And that's the reality. In this world there is always challenges, there is always things that come against us, there's always things that seek to upset us, upset, upset our equilibrium, set us off balance. Um, there are challenges we have to face almost daily. And yet Jesus says, in me, um, you may have peace. And that's the gift that he gives to each one of us, his peace. His peace is there for us because he has overcome the world. He has overcome the enemy. He's overcome all that came against him. He's overcome the forces of darkness. He's overcome um, through the cross everything that sets itself against us. And so our confidence this morning is not in our ability to overcome but in the fact that he has already overcome. So in this day, I, I encourage you, draw on the peace that Jesus gives, draw on the victory that he has won, and know that he has overcome the world.